you might have observed in your daily life that some of the metals uh, get corroded from the area where they are either you know rolled or uh, they, they are melted they are welded or they are basically drawn into a particular pattern uh, that particular area actually remains in stress and that's how it gets corroded so hi i'm neha today in this video i'll tell you that what type of corrosion is that and here the name says it's a stress corrosion or stress cracking it's basically the combined effect of stress first of all and the corrosive environment on metal so if these two conditions met then the corrosion happens and the corrosion is known as stress corrosion basically what happens is if the metal is under stress static tensile stress that means you have fabricated it in a presence of uh, some kind of stress that means a normal metal is there but uh, while forming or fabricating into a product you have actually rolled it or you have annealed it or you have made a certain pattern in the design due to which that particular area which has been molded becomes stressed so there is intuition there is induction of a stress first of all secondly if some kind of corrosive environment is met to that particular area then that particular area will corrode why because then there will be electrochemical attack there will be formation of a stress galvanic cell because there will be difference in the stress at various region like here the uh, level of stress would be different here the level of stress would be different and here it would be different so that stress is going to vary uh, with respect to the presence of the residual stress and that is how it is highly uh, localized attack because it will only happen where the area is under stress while rest of the area there will be no corrosion so overall corrosion is negligible but it will happen only to the affected area and that's how they say that the pure metals normally are relatively immune to the stress corrosion because obviously when it is pure then it might not had undergone any kind of treatment uh, due to which the stress has occurred it always occurs when you make alloys or when you when you try to use the metal in some kind of product next is when uh, you know just as i said that when you make it in a fabricated alloy form then there will be certainly some kind of stress present. Uh, very specific examples you may see like caustic alkali and strong nitrate solution is problematic for mild steel like traces of ammonia for brass. That means if brass and brass metal is certainly at a stress somewhere and now ammonia is also there then that particular area will get corroded. So it's very you, you may say that these are very specific and selective in nature specifically it will occur at the area which is under stress specifically it will not occur anywhere right and selectively it will occur in certain environment like brass always do that in presence of ammonia but in presence of other solutions it might not do that right stainless steel in presence of an acidic chloride solution but not in presence of other at the same time mild steel do that in presence of a base right so stress corrosion you may say that these type of uh, corrosion takes place where two conditions are met highly specific that means the tensile stress there would be a stress specifically at that region it will happen and second is selective that means the environment it will be uh, holding in a selective corrosive environment not all so i think two things are clear to you that there has to be some stress now let us see some more diagrams i have just followed engineering chemistry by jen and jen so if you would like to see these uh, pics you may refer to that book now if you can see here that particular area this uh, you have actually bent it a little now when you have bent this area becomes a node because this is the strained part where the corrosion will takes place as i said very specifically area under stress similarly what happens is when two grains are there then the grain boundary basically becomes always anode because that is the localized zone of higher electrode potential and that's why it becomes highly uh, you know chemically active 
and when it becomes chemically active then that area becomes anode let's say you have a complete folded metal sheet and you have just folded it so this is the area this is the grain boundary which will become chemically active and will get corroded more at the folds similarly if it's a bent wire it will corrode more at the bent that is where the stress has occurred and you might have observed this also that the nail corrodes more at its head and tip and then the shank shank is always less corroded in comparison to that of uh, this area which is head and this area which is tip why because this is under stress so that type is basically a stress corrosion now to elaborate it further you may take help of many examples but let me explain you two of them the first one is caustic embrittlement here uh, you can see that uh, caustic presence is important right that is caustic base right so you may say that if it is naoh embrittlement means brittle nature of a metal so what happens is that if you have iron uh, let's say iron metal and uh, generally it happens in boilers so what happens is if you have high pressure boilers and that is made up of iron so what happens is let's say you have iron surface here and now inside there is water now uh, sometimes what we use uh, in the water is sodium carbonate in order to treat the hardness right but that dissociates uh, to give you in presence of water that dissociates to give you NaOH and CO2 is released so what happens is when you're heating water you're actually boilers are used to heat water and get steam right so when you're heating water what happens is uh, if there is certain crack in a particular area or uh, if the area is under stress then what happens is here the NaOH uh, the water will be alkaline right because of this reaction now in some areas the alkalinity would be like more it will become concentrated NaOH while in rest of the area it will become dilute NaOH right when there is a crack here and the NaOH particle goes here so immediately water will get evaporated and this area will be uh, having concentrated NaOH area while this area would be of uh, dilute NaOH area so what happens is a stress corrosion occurs at a particular area which is under stress at the same time uh, I said specific uh, uh, condition is met right a specific condition is uh, the area under stress and selective condition is also met do you remember selective condition was the corrosive environment and what is the environment here the environment is the caustic so iron gets corroded in presence of NaOH if there is a stress and that is known as caustic embrittlement I hope you understand this kind of cell development will takes place again it's a type of concentration cell corrosion only right let's go to the second one season cracking here the cracking occurs is of brass and what happens is normally like alloys or like brass they have two or more metals in them let's say zinc and copper are there and now if they are in ammonia solution what happens is dissolution of like brass in ammonia takes place because it forms a copper or zinc complex ion the copper gets dissolved the zinc gets dissolved and that's how the alloy became dissolved so dissolution of brass is specifically at the area under stress and selectively when it is only ammonia solution that's also is a wonderful example so in both of the examples you have seen that what happens here it with iron iron reacts with that uh, sodium hydroxide it forms uh, sodium ferroid and it gets corroded while when brass is there and this ammonia solution is there uh, copper and uh, zinc forms ammonical complex uh, ions and the brass gets dissolved that's are the two classic examples of caustic embrittlement season cracking under the tag of stress corrosion if you would like uh, me to explain them in detail please mention in the comments i will explain in it the next video and this one is the uh, like uh, if you go in the history this one it was the biggest disaster i hope you uh, know this there was a collapse of silver bridge because there was stress corrosion crack occurred and that went critical and due to which the entire bridge collapsed so that is one of the example uh, you can quote uh, so i guess today uh, you might have understood stress corrosion in detail and i hope you will remember that there are two conditions to be met first there has to be a stress and second there has to be a corrosive environment that's all for today if you would like to see such videos please do subscribe to my channel and please hit like that will give me motivation thank you so much